Good morning, children of God. I'm so happy to be with you. Today's children's message is based on the Faith at Home lesson that families were sent this week. And of course, everyone is welcome to watch. We can find our story in the Old Testament, in the first book of Samuel. And it's about a woman named Hannah who really wanted to have a child. She believed in God and was so thankful for all that he had given her and her family, but she was sad she couldn't have a baby. Hannah went to the temple to pray, telling God how she was feeling and why she was so sad. And she promised God, dear God, please give me a son. And if you do, I will dedicate him to you for the rest of his life. Well, Eli, the temple priest, saw Hannah was praying and blessed her when she was done. And when Hannah left, she felt so much better because she had talked to God about what was bothering her. Now, sometimes God doesn't answer our prayers, but we can't be mad about it and not talk to God or thank God for all the other good things in our life. God knows what's best for us. So there's always a good reason why he hasn't answered our prayers. But in this case, a great thing happened. God gave Hannah a son and she named him Samuel, which in Hebrew translates into God heard. Hannah was so happy to have a son, but she remembered that she made a promise to God and she kept her promise. When Samuel was old enough, she went back to the temple where she had prayed and said to Eli the priest, do you remember me? God answered my prayer and gave me a son. Now I give him to the Lord and I will leave him with you to learn from you and work with you. Well, Samuel did very well while staying with Eli and was very happy. One night something unusual happened. Eli and Samuel had both gone to bed and were sound asleep when Samuel all of a sudden woke up. Someone was calling him. Samuel. Well, Samuel thought it was Eli, so he ran to Eli's bed and answered, here I am, you called me? But Eli said, I did not call you. Go back to bed and let me sleep. So Samuel went back to bed and then he heard his name again. Samuel. Samuel went back to Eli and said, here I am, you call? And again, Eli said, no, I didn't. Go back to bed. And then it happened a third time. And again, Eli told Samuel that he hadn't called him. Well, Eli couldn't figure out what was going on. Who would be calling Samuel since it was just the two of them there? Suddenly, Eli realized that there was one good explanation. So Eli told Samuel, go back to bed. And if you hear the voice again, say, yes, Lord, I'm listening. Sure enough. Samuel went back to bed and he heard his name called. Samuel, Samuel. So Samuel quickly replied, yes, Lord, I'm listening. And from then on, Samuel knew when God wanted to talk to him and he was always listening. God blessed Samuel and he grew up to be a great prophet. A prophet, is a person who speaks to God and shares God's message with other people. And the Bible is full of prophets. Anyway, Hannah did the right thing when she kept her promise to God. Her son Samuel helped many people know God better. Let's pray. Dear God, Help us to be faithful in keeping our promises to you, even when it is hard to do so. We are grateful that you hear our prayers, and we know that if you don't answer them, it is for a very good reason. You always know what's best for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Well, that's all for now. Thank you for listening, and I'm looking forward to being with you again. In the meantime, lots and lots of hugs.